Hey Curtis, how you doing? Hey man, what's going on? Oh, not too much. So, yeah, yeah you're fighting here soon. June 10th at uh, MFC 30 back in Edmonton, Alberta against uh, Robert the Beast Washington. Both you guys are coming off of back-to-back uh, -back losses. You with Marcus Davis at MFC 29 and then a shitty decision against uh, Richie Whitson at MFC 28. So, uh, this is kind of a do-or-die situation. How have you prepared for this fight? Um, you know, I just worked on, a, worked on a lot of different things. Um, really focused on my conditioning and cardio. Um, you know, I'm going to come out strong. I'm going to come out really really quick and explosive. And, and we really worked a lot of, a lot of different angles for the fight. Um, you know, in my last fight, I felt kind of hesitant. I felt kind of, uh, you know, I wasn't putting my combos good enough. I wasn't sticking to my combos and putting them together good. Um, and I feel like, um, you know, I'm going to be much faster and more explosive. And and uh, and I'm just going to, I'm going to pick them apart. So. Were, were you training in San Diego a lot for this one? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I spent uh, the last, since my last fight with Marcus, I um, been down here in San Diego at the arena and uh, just training here and uh, putting in the work. So, right on, that's good. But I, I also noticed on Facebook that you just gotten over a staph infection, and uh, now I guess you're having uh, problems with your girlfriend. Um, has these been factors with your training on the mental side of things? Um, yeah, you know, uh, I never really had problems leading up to a fight with you know mental problems or like. Uh, you know, mentally being prepared, and, and uh, you know, a lot of people always told me, you know, uh, you know, it's a lot of mental um, preparation. Uh, I had staph infection. Um, I actually ended up getting, uh, my immune system got weak, and I ended up getting uh, a really bad cold, too, um, and it actually lasted quite a while, over a week, and, um, and then I actually just uh, currently broke up with, you know, uh, the other half of me, my girlfriend who you know has always been there and supported me and she's uh you know the best best thing in my life right now and uh you know it's very difficult and it's it's you know it's messing with me but you can't let those things get to you and you know you gotta look forward and then just concentrate on the fight and and uh focus on the fight so you know i'm gonna try to put those things behind me and, and try to uh you know really focus here so yeah it's definitely the toughest thing about being a fighter the mental side and having your your head in the right place so you you, you feel that you're able to uh put those aside for now at least until uh maybe potentially june 10th um yeah you know i think that uh you know that's what you gotta do and as you know a professional athlete you know there's always gonna be um injuries or sicknesses going into a fight you know i think i've i've had injuries going into every fight you know so i'm used to that um and uh you know as far as the relationship thing goes and, you know, having someone always being there supportive, um, you know, you just got to, you got to do what you got to do and this is my job and, um, you know, when those types of things come along, you just kind of have to, you know, try to put those aside for the night of the fight and, and do what you do best, so. Well, good to hear. On a different note, with the fights coming on MFC 30, what what are you most interested to watch? Like, watch matchup? Um, you know, I'm really, uh, interested in watching my fight, you know, no, I'm just kidding. I think that, uh, I think that, you know, me and, me and Washington's fight's going to be explosive, but I'm really looking forward to, uh, watching, um, Sheldon Westcott and, uh, you know, the wild man. Um, you know, the first time they went at it, I thought it was very close. Um, you know, as wild man came back within the round, like as the rounds went on, um, and I think they're going to really put it out there and really, uh, really show, you know, and put it on another great fight. They're uh, they're both experienced and they're both, you know, top one seven years. And I think they're just going to go out there and put on a show and and not be afraid to. Um, I was really looking forward to the Hermes Frank and the Drew Thicket fight, but unfortunately, you know, some personal problems happened to Franca. So, um, you know, but I think they're all going to be good fights. All the main card. Uh, you know, MFC always puts on a great show. I'm sure it's going to be a great card. So, well, what, what's your what's your feelings on Drew Fickett? Who should he fight now, and should he fight for a belt right now? Because, um, I actually 
actually just read this morning. I think he's fighting uh, Cobb, Brian Cobb. And, uh, you know, he's a UFC vet as well. Um, I, I, I don't see Cobb really getting sick in a competition. I think, you know, sick it's going to, you know, really finish that fight and really really show, you know, his true colors and show how good he is, you know. Um, sick it's a real... You know, he's been in the game forever. He's well-rounded. You know, he's fought the best. He's fought, you know, in, in top organizations everywhere, you know. And I think that uh, it's going to be a great fight. But I think that Fickett's going to edge that one out real quick. Um, and, you know, I really, really wanted to see the Antonio McKee and Drew Fickett fight. I thought that would have been a close matchup. But right now, I, I just can't see anyone, you know, really giving Fickett a sick of the competition right now so so yeah you you felt that uh, Antonio could give him a good uh, run for his money on that one hey yeah that would have been a great fight so yeah that, that is a tough situation there because I just talked to Antonio there and he's you know he doesn't want to give up his belt unless someone beats him and I don't blame him right like when you have that belt you just, I think that someone needs to take it away from him right so yeah, yeah and I mean um, Antonio is a smart fighter he's really smart um, he fights smart, and you know, and that's the thing you got to do when you're a champ. You got to defend your belt, so you got to fight smart. You might not be the most entertaining, but you know, you gotta you gotta defend your belt. So that's what he did, and you know, as as boring as a lot of people think he is, you know, that's that's just part of being a champion, you know. Well, that's exactly what uh, GSP is going through right now, right? So everyone uh, criticizes him, but. Uh... Come take the belt from him, you know, and yeah, no one has sure, done yeah. it. So, I mean, yeah, it's an interesting factor, but I, I agree with you. Someone, if they want that belt, come take that belt. Don't sit there and bitch about it. Come take that belt. And that's that's my opinion, but, you know. Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck getting prepared for this fight. And, uh, yeah, I want to see a win on this uh, on this card by you. Cause, uh, Thank you. Shut this beast down and get him out of the MFC. Okay, on a final note, uh, would you like to thank anybody? Yeah, I'd like to uh, thank a few of my sponsors. I'd like to thank Adam's Body Art. Um, I'd like to thank NRG Signs, um, Gamma O, MMA Overload, Clinch Gear, Full Tilt Poker. And then I'd like to actually, you know, give a shout out back to all, uh, all my hometowns actually flooded um, in Brandon, Manitoba. And I'd like to just make sure and, and give a shout out to my hometown and hope you guys are doing all right. And I'd like to give a shout out to my family, my friends, um, my girl who's always been there and, you know, always has been um, and hopefully, you know, you know, always will be. Um, Tiffany, thank you. Um, and uh, everyone else that's always been there and, and thank you. I love you guys all. And, and uh, I'm going to put on a show June 10th. So make sure you check it out. You bet, Curtis. Well, I'll be rooting for you for sure. I want uh, I want you to come out with the you know victorious. You had a little rough few goals here this last few fights, and I think you deserve a win this one. So uh, get your head on straight and come out strong, and let's let's get a victory. Yeah, and I promise it won't be a decision this time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh. All right, bro. Okay, man. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you. Bye.